Hello everyone, are you ready to review this amazing Bible? Okay, so let's start! To be honest, what made me buy this Bible was the cover. As soon as I saw it, I was completely in love. It has an enchanted feeling and for me, there is no book with extraordinary stories like the Bible, so it is perfect for it. It has an amazing touch and uh, the engravings are beautiful and the front and the back are both incredible. Look. I really, really love it. It's a King James Version. I normally prefer the New King James Version, but from all the Bibles like this one out there for Bible Journal, I, I actually prefer this one, this version, instead of the other ones. Let's open it. I love nature and right away I identify myself with this natural drawing of nature here in, in the inner cover um, and actually the front one is a continuation of the last one and I think it looks amazing <laughs> and yeah these two pages are a little bit thicker than the rest of, of the, the Bible. This page is not my favorite, uh, but yeah, it's okay. And and then I already started painting a little bit, only with color pencils because I knew it would work and not pass through. And so this is the first one. And as you can see, it doesn't pass to the other side. And then I already did this one too. I love that the titles of each chapter are like this, so I can color and create different things. And actually, all of them are like that, and I already marked some examples for you here. So, for example, Psalms is like that too. So, every single chapter uh, has a different um, kind of drawing here. Let's return. The Bible does not have a lot of full pages spreads like this one. Um, but it has some, and I can show you some of them. For example, this one, like really nice, or this one, for example. One of the features of this Bible are some spreads with special words. And let me show you some. So you have here, and uh, and here so it doesn't really have a verse but it's just a word and you can decorate it I actually feel that they are really nice and there is an index in the end of the Bible with all of them the majority of the drawings and everything in this Bible uh, are like this one for example Okay, like verses that have words and then you can decorate and even draw different things around it. Or like this one. Okay, or like this one. I really enjoyed it. Uh, for me, my favorite thing is that this Bible has a lot of open spaces here in the sides. And I really wanted to do my own journaling and, and to draw and paint things that I, I'm creating. So I'm really happy with that. You'll find a lot. And uh, yeah, that is my main focus. So I'm really happy that this Bible is not only drawings. Regarding the pages, they are thin, which I think is a problem with all these types of Bibles, not just this one, but thicker than the normal Bibles. So it will be okay if we are careful. Um, also, on the upside, they have a really nice feeling. And um, the pages are not quite white, which goes really well and it complements really well the style of the Bible and the covers. Now I'm going to test different materials in the last page, like here. 
to see which I can use without passing through to the other side. Here we are with all the materials and let me tell you all the ones that I have here. So this is a normal big pen, this is a um, white gel pen, this is a shark one, this is a brush pen and um, this one is a linear pen, the one that you use to do really thin draws. Then we have here also a brush pen but it, this is water based, let's see how it works. Then this one is a brush pen but with color and this one is the fine linear but with color also and then we have this one there is an underliner we have this one that is a water um, color pencil a normal color pencil and then normal watercolor so let's start and see the results Ready to see if any of these pass to the other side. So it looks like the only ones that pass through a little bit, just a little bit, were the water based brush pen also the underliner a little bit here. And also this one, this one, this brush pen, the color one passed also a little bit. But as you can see, it's not that much. So the quality of these pages are not bad at all. So yeah, really happy with this test. It means that almost everything here I can use to create beautiful art in this Bible. I'm completely in love with this Bible and I can't wait to continue journaling. Now, for all the materials that we talked about, I'm gonna put a link below so you can buy them online. If you are seeing this video close to the date of the release, you need to go right into our Instagram account because we have a giveaway for one exactly like this one. I told you, I love this Bible and I really want to share it with one of you. I hope you enjoyed this review and if you did and now you love this Bible also, well, I'm gonna put a link below where you can buy it. Bye everyone, let's start creating!